When Danielle was told by her doctor her tests were clear, her instincts told her that wasn't right. She pushed for more and may well be alive because of it. It's a disease often found too late, but a new discovery could change everything. It was busy, it was fun, we were always planning stuff. 42-year-old Danielle Scalia's life with her two boys was non-stop, working all week and packing in adventures in between. But early last year, the mum started feeling unwell. My first signs that I noticed that were different was irregular periods, uh, which led to a change in my bowel movements. After six months of feeling off, changes in sleep and a loss of appetite, Danielle went to the doctor. All of my results came back uh, clear. They were all good. Uh, so I asked for an ultrasound and she sort of said, well, we'll, we'll just wait a little bit. And I, I didn't want to wait. So I sort of pushed the point of her doing a re referral for me. And boy, is Danielle glad she did. What did come up on the ultrasound were the tumours in my uterus. Danielle was diagnosed with stage three ovarian cancer. She underwent surgery before six rounds of chemotherapy. Letting my boys know, or letting my whole family know my diagnosis, um, that was extremely hard. The single mum, working full-time as an early childhood educator and an educational leader, has lost her income and the job she loved. Due to le losing my spleen, uh, it's too much of a high risk for me to return to work directly with children. I loved it. Yeah, I had a great passion for it. Whilst grieving the life she had, Danielle's fully aware this fight is worth it. She was the kind of friend that anyone would want to have and be lucky to have. She was good at everything, but you somehow didn't hate her for it. What has Beck missed out on? I think she's missed out on a lot, a lot. Um, she knew that she wasn't going to be able to have children and that was something that she always wanted. She was working as a speech pathologist and, yeah, had just been promoted. Yeah, there's so much that, that she's missed out on. Beck Hurst was Lauren Brooker's best friend. Beck gave her bridesmaid this coat to wear on her wedding day before the pandemic reduced it to a handful of guests. Unfortunately, I never got to wear it at her wedding, um, but the three of us bridesmaids wore it at her funeral instead. Diagnosed with ovarian cancer at just 25, Beck died 18 months later. Australia has been at the forefront of so many medical breakthroughs that have changed the game for disease all over the world. But ovarian cancer sufferers have been trying virtually the same treatment for decades. And for 70 to 80 per cent of them, it doesn't work. But now, because of what's happening right here in these labs, there's hope. This discovery that we've made here in Australia is a world first. Dr Marie Belanzik from Melbourne's Hudson Institute of Medical Research is the first scientist to discover leader cells in ovarian cancer. We've discovered the leader cells are the ones that are green and they're breaking apart that cluster of tumour cells and causing the disease to spread throughout the body. So how do these leader cells that you've discovered behave differently to the rest of the cancer? So these cells thrive in response to chemotherapy. They also suppress the immune system. So these leader cells are the reason that the second time the patient receives therapy, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, with ovarian cancer, there is a chance that you can have reoccurrence within the first 18 months. It's one of many things Danielle's now learning about the deadliest gynaecological disease there is. Like Danielle, Lauren says Beck's symptoms were vague. Feeling a lot of bloating, um, had a little bit of unexpected weight loss. She went to a number of different doctors and, and she pretty much was told the same thing. You're young and healthy, uh, it's nothing to worry about. This was someone that was educated, working in the health system, assertive, confident and still was given these 
kind of response is. This was where Beck received a number of treatments for her ovarian cancer and she spent time in palliative care here at the end of her life. And what stage was her cancer at by the time they diagnosed her? She wasn't diagnosed until stage four um, and by that time her treatment options were pretty limited. There is currently no early detection test for ovarian cancer, making Dr Balanzik's findings even more critical. We have developed a novel therapy that is specific to leader cells and we're looking to initiate an early stage clinical trial in the uh, beginning of next year. What motivates Dr Balanzik is women just like Danielle, who have so much life to live. My hopes for the future is just to to be a survivor. And hopefully this is the breakthrough in ovarian cancer treatment we've been desperately waiting for.